All right, so for this one, I'll read it, then I'll create the diagram we have here, and then what I'll do, hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. It's interesting now I have private conversations with some students and we talk about grades. Very, very interesting. Okay, so it says Kyle's at the end of a pier, 30 feet above the ocean. His eye level is three feet above the pier. So let's go on right. So it's above the ocean. So we have a little ocean, right? You have a pier. Nice big dock, right? And then you have Kyle. Stick figures work. Now, it says his eye level is three feet above the pier. So the pier is 30 feet. Then they say his eye level is three feet. Now, what I want you guys to understand is eye level. If I look straight out, is that a horizontal line? Yeah. Yes. So my eye, so Kyle's eye level is going to be our horizontal. All right. And it says at an angle of depression means the angle is going to be going downward. Um, if an angle of depression of a whale is 20 degrees, how far is the whale from Kyle's binoculars? So Kyle's looking out these binoculars at an angle of depression of 20. Number eight. So he's looking at it. What they want to know is how far is this whale? Keith, is that what you're supposed to be doing right now? Did you do your homework? Did you? Can you take it out so you can check your answer? It's at home. So why don't you just go and write this down so you can check it out so you can write it down at the end. So you have this nice whale, right? So what I would like to do, guys, is when you create a diagram by, if you're reading a word problem and you create a diagram, put it on that side, um, what I would recommend that you do is go ahead and create your triangle within the figure with all the jumble jumble and whatever, then redraw the triangle with the information of just the triangle. So we know that creates a 90 degree angle. We have 30 plus 3 is 33 feet. Do we know what this angle is? This small little angle? We know that this angle is 20 degrees, right? This angle is 20 degrees. So if this angle is 20 degrees, does anybody know what that angle is going to be? 70. Does anybody know what this angle is then? 90. Well, 70 plus 90 is 160. So this one has to be 20 as well. OK? Now, we don't really need to know this angle. We can use this angle right here as well. All right? And let's just use this angle to help us out because our missing length is going to be x. Layla, you can find a seat. Um, so to be able to find x, we need to be able to use a calculator, which somebody stole my calculator. Oh, here it is. So when using this, I need to be able to determine which side lengths do I have or what am I missing. I have my angle. I have, here is my hypotenuse. Do I have a length for the hypotenuse, Casey? Do I have any information on my hypotenuse? No. No. OK, so then I go to Aiden. Do you remember the only trigonometric function that does not deal with the hypotenuse, only deals with opposite and adjacent? You have three answers, sine, cosine, or tangent. Do you remember which one? It's OK if you don't remember. So, ka, to, uh, Imani, do you remember? Co, I see co, John? Tangent. It is tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, the tangent of any angle equals opposite over adjacent. The tangent of my angle here is 70 degrees equals my opposite side. So now I need to determine which one's opposite. Remember, the adjacent connects your angle with the 90 degree angle, and the opposite connects the si and the opposite is directly across from your angle. So therefore, I have x over 33. Now, Colin, what's the next thing I have to go and do? Good. So therefore, I'll multiply by 30 degrees on both sides. Therefore, now I have x equals 33 times the tan of 70 degrees. Make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. If you don't know how to check that, make sure you let me know and I'll help you. Then just do 33 times the tangent of 70 degrees, which is 90.66. So 90.66.
So therefore, x equals 90.6, uh, we'll just round it to the seventh, round it to the tenth, feet. That means the whale is 90.67 feet away from Kyle. OK?